I work at five different schools. I work at three primary schools and two junior high schools. So my day-to-day -day job is very varied depending on if I'm at a primary school or if I'm at a junior high school. Um, at the primary schools I teach primarily grades five and six and I also teach grades three and four, just my own lesson plans, whatever I like to do or what I feel like I want to teach them, as well as sometimes uh, grades one and two as well, which is always fun <laughs> with the little kids. And during the day, I do the lunchtime radio at school, and that's really, really fun. I like to introduce Australian culture and Australian music to my students and I also eat lunch with the kids at school which is really fun and we always have a good time trying to figure out what certain things are in English because sometimes we don't have those types of dishes in Australia. Uh, at the junior high school I have more of a responsibility. I've been dedicated sections to their textbook and I grade them on that so that is a lot of responsibility for me but I can use my own way of teaching and show it in a different way that the kids wouldn't normally get from their Japanese English teacher. I was inspired to study Japanese from a sister school exchange I did in high school. I went to Yamanashi Prefecture and at the time I did not speak any Japanese, I didn't know anything about Japan and I had such a great time learning some Japanese, learning about the culture, meeting the people and just involving myself in the everyday lives of another culture. And when I came back to Australia, I always knew that I wanted to study Japanese when I went to university and to one day work in Japan It was always my goal from that experience. Learning Japanese taught me to have a cultural awareness and to be more aware of other people's perspectives. And through that I've been able to look at a situation and hold myself back and think about what the other person is thinking about that certain situation. Uh, for example, when I'm teaching at school, uh, one teacher will think that this is the right way and this is the only way that you can teach a certain thing and I have my own way, but stepping back and being able to look at it from each other's perspectives, we're able to meet halfway to come to a compromise to give the students or whoever the best um, learning experience. Learning Japanese and studying Japanese definitely helped me in my career. I use Japanese on a daily basis now. If I didn't speak Japanese, I would not be able to live or work in my current role. When you have to plan the steps throughout the lesson and you can't communicate what's going on, it's very difficult. And I'm so glad that I speak Japanese because I can just quickly tell the teacher what's happening in the limited amount of time that we have and things get moving quite quickly. But what's really helped me with my Japanese is being able to communicate with all the other staff members and become more a part of the school community, which I don't think I would be able to fully do if I did not speak any Japanese. I definitely think that learning Japanese or a language is beneficial for young Australians. Because Australia is becoming such a multicultural society and with people coming from different countries and different cultures, there is a lot of background and history that you may or may not know. And by learning a language, you are able to understand and learn about cultural awareness and in working with people from different backgrounds, different countries or different races you can open yourself up to learning more about the world and the world around you. I think that if you want to work in Japan and you want to work in a school, I definitely recommend that you can speak Japanese or a little bit of Japanese because it will help you become involved in your community, involved in your school and be able to help you in situations when you need Japanese to communicate. My advice for current Macquarie University students is to keep going and whenever you're having a hard time just think of all the little improvements that you've been making and just keep going and keep doing it because the end reward is definitely worth it. And in true Nagasaki style I'd like to say Gambaramba which means keep trying and good luck and do your best. So Gambaramba Macquarie students.